I'm Matthew Young, owner of MacMan Altair, and this is MacMan Studios, where we shoot all of our installation videos so our customers know what they're doing going into a project. This is talking about our new large case 370 amp alternator for Cummins 12 valve diesel engines. This is our 94 Dodge Ram Cummins 2500 with a 12 valve Cummins engine in it. This is what we actually did the R&D testing on and what we'll do the installation video on. Factory alternator is a pathetic 150 amps on a good day. Our alternator is going to crank out 200 plus amps just sitting and idling and 370 amps going down the road. Uh, we also offer it for engine swap applications. If you don't have the factory harness, just a single ignition switched wire, you can order it that way. Or, and you can also order an external regulator if you want voltage to be a little bit higher than the standard voltage set point for this vehicle. Uh, next time, we're going to be in the shop shooting our 6.7 liter uh, Cummins engine, later model truck, as well as the 5.7 liter large case unit with all of the same great features. Uh, always remember, it takes power to make power. Please like and subscribe if you want to learn more about uh, 12 volt and mobile audio applications. Hey guys, we're covering some tips and tricks for installing our new billet 370 amp alternator for your 5.9 liter Cummins truck. Take in mind, the main purpose of this install video is to explain the factory alternator two pin wiring harness. We won't be covering belt and bolt removal. First and foremost, as always, start by removing the negative terminal from your battery. It's best practice to place the negative terminal lug on something non-conductive to separate it from the negative post. It can be very helpful when doing this install to have a second set of hands to hold open the factory alternator cover while someone places the new alternator and bolts it in. Included with your new alternator is the H103 wiring harness. The wiring harness shown here will have two wires, one green and one black. Install the green and black wires to the factory female end shown here circled in red, utilizing the supplied nuts. We installed the H103 harness with the black wire on the right and the green wire on the left, but they can go either way. Install the supplied heat shrink around the wires, nuts, and bolts like shown. Next, take the adapter side of the H103 harness, shown here circled in green, and plug it into the female adapter portion on the rear of your new alternator. Once that is secure, mount the cable shown here to the output stud on the rear of the alternator circled in yellow, utilizing the supplied nut. Let's go ahead and be sure everything is secure, including the mounting bolts for the alternator. Reinstall your belt and the ground terminal to the battery. You should be all set. So we can clarify any questions you might still have. I'm gonna pass it over to Tony for a minute so that he can cover wiring in more detail. Hey guys, it's Tony here at MacMan Alternators. I'm gonna show you real quick how to install the alternator 100% the best way possible. You're gonna get our alternator. You're gonna receive one of our copper lugs already on the alternator. You're gonna reuse this copper lug. You're gonna put it on some zero gauge wire. So once that zero gauge wire is on this copper lug, you're gonna connect it right to the back of the alternator on the output stud. You're gonna go right to the battery on the positive post on there. So now you only have another ground wire to run. So the ground wire, you'll just either go from your dedicated output on a Billet Elite series, or you can go from the front of the alternator or any of the case mounting bolts. And you just do exactly what you did with the positive. You take it right to the battery negative. So. Now, how do you power your truck? You simply take your factory power wire. You may need to enlarge the hole just slightly, not a lot, but you, you might have to. And you just put it right on top of this stud right here. This way you have the most surface area contact, your alternator's installed the best way it possibly can, and you're good to go from there. Thanks guys. All right guys, hopefully Tony clarified a few things for you. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more new products and instructional videos from MechMan Studios.